Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday, uh, New Year's Eve. Let me stop dancing. So, anyways, um, I just got off the Zoom call with my sister who's getting married next year. Um, they gave us a whole bunch of information. So, that's that. So, right now, as y'all can see, I'm going to start chopping these braids off because I am ready to take them out. I've been ready, but I'm about to take them out. But for now, y'all, um, I just want to come on and start this vlog. I can tell you my problems, maintaining my silence. But I keep pushing my pain and rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like seeing I know breath low dialing. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow. Get that shit right back tomorrow. So we stand here until that finishes. So guys, I don't know about y'all, but for me, I'm the type of person that, um, like, if I support you, I support you. And I watch a lot of YouTube, and I found myself, like, everybody I watch, um, I always press the like button. Go put it in the trash. I always press the like button, um, as soon as the video starts, because, um, I understand what it is that they're trying to do and I want to support what it is that they're trying trying to do. Do I subscribe to everyone? No. Um, however, if I see is somebody that, you know, is just starting their YouTube channel, um, I'm, uh, I may. Because like I said, I get it. I understand what it is that they're trying to do. But... Like I said, that I, that's just me. I go in and I press the like button on every individual um, that I, I tune into. Whether I watch five minutes, 20 minutes, or even an hour of whatever it is that they're, you know, talking about or doing, I go ahead and press it. So that's just the type of person I am when it comes to supporting you all on, on YouTube. Um, I was just wondering, do y'all do the same thing? Or do y'all actually have to uh, like whatever it is that they are talking about? Ava, where are you going? Y'all comment below and let me know <clears throat> what, um, what determines if you like a person's video or not. Leave me a comment. I think my baby for sausage biscuit is, is done. Extremely hot. Ava. You can come get your food now. Well, it's too hot. Can't get it just yet. Oh, oh, and also, guys, I last night I was able to use my. Hi, everybody. This is me, Ava. <laughs> I was able to use my new um, mop bucket that I requested or asked for for Christmas. Let me show you guys. But I had some questions. I really, did. I didn't read no instructions. I didn't realize it was instructions at the bottom of the box. But let me show you guys. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I did it to my best. Back up, Blanca. So this gadget. When I tell you I love this, but like I said, I have some questions. I don't know if I did everything right. So over here, I put hot boiling water. All right, but I noticed that with the water, the bleach, and the Dawn soap I put in there, it all somehow sank down in here. So I was wondering, am I supposed to fill the this part up with water and then spin here, or what? Because I thought down here was the dirty water. So 
If anybody know how to use it, please comment below and let me know so I can do it the correct way next time I'm up. But I did my best last night, so it is what it is until next time. All right, let me um, let me get these braids out my hand. I'll be back, guys. Hey guys, y'all not gonna believe what I just found. And I'm highly pissed about it. Y'all know I just told y'all that I just used my new mop last night. I mopped up, um, I mopped the kitchen, this little dining area, um, over there by the TV, everywhere, right? So I go and throw something in the trash, and this is what I see. I hope y'all can see. Can y'all see that? And it goes all the way over to the trash can. I hope y'all can see it. But guess what it is? Or what I think it is. It's urine. It's dog urine. My dog and pee, I guess on my chick, my cheer legs and on my trash can. As I just mopped last night. So let me tell y'all what I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to. Just let the dog go. Tied him. We done had him for some time. I like him. Don't get it twisted. I do like him. But I don't like days like this. And not only that, I know it will hurt my kid's heart if I just let this dog go. But I want to get rid of him. I am so sick of this dog pissing in my house. So, I'm going to ask you guys. What should I do? Or what would you do? If you had a dog, I'm sorry, if your kids have a dog, right? And they don't feed them, they won't give them nothing to drink, they won't walk them, and all the responsibility falls off on you and your spouse, or just on you. And then now the dog is pissing on your floor. What would you do? That's actually what I want to do. I want to let them go, but I don't want to hurt my kids' heart. So what should I do? Y'all leave a comment below. Let me know. Cause he outside right now. I just found this out just now, but I already put him outside on the front porch so he can pee. Because he normally, like he did this morning, he came on the side of my bed. Bart let me know he had to use the bathroom. So I took him outside. Look at him. And he done. He slept on my couch last night? You saw him? Yeah. And see, that's the other thing. He think he's slick. He's going to lay on my couch while we in bed at night. Yeah, I'm so I'm really sick of this dog. Hey. I am. Hey, mommy. Y'all just let me know what what I should do. Do you want to keep the dog? Keep the dog. You want me to let him go? No. You don't want me to let the dog go? No. Well, you gonna come clean up this year? On the floor? I can't hear you. Uh, you gonna walk the dog more? You gonna feed him more? He need, he, well, he need to be fed now. Did y'all waste anything on my floor last night? Yeah, the dog peed all over my floor after I mopped. Remember I was mopping last night? It was two. Yeah. You see that? They say don't let them go. 
But I'm supposed to let you keep pissing on my stuff and sleeping on my couch. Y'all, let me finish getting this braids out. I'm letting, I got some water boiling right now so I can get ready to clean this urine up off my floor. I'm aggravated. So, let me, let me clean this mess up and start back on these braids. No! See, this is why I can't get my hair loose. In a shot. Ah, 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 nothing. <laughs> you scared for no reason. Hey guys, it's a few days later. Today is Monday, January 9th. Um, I already got the kids off to school. Um, I've been by Walmart, picked up a few items um, for us to have taco Monday. <laughs> We're gonna eat tacos tonight or I'm gonna eat a taco salad. Um, so yeah, I just picked up a few items, nothing much, nothing too major. Um, and then I went by the post office to drop off the Shein, um, what you call them? Those clothes that I was going to wear during my birthday weekend that didn't fit, that was too big. I went ahead and sent that stuff back off. And now I am headed back home. And yeah, I'm not sure what else today may bring. Um, I do plan on getting some rest. Um, I worked all weekend, long hours, and um, I am a little, not a little, I'm, a t I'm tired. So I'm going to get some rest. And then when I wake up, I'm going to start my Monday over and um, edit some videos this is the plan however every time i make plans like this i go home i find all types of stuff that needs to be done and i never get any rest can any of y'all relate to that anywho guys um i do plan on going into the house and making me um a fake behind mcdonald's um what do you call it hot breakfast plate or something like that you know the plate that has the the hash brown with the sausage and and biscuit and um and pancakes well i'm not doing the biscuit mm -mm. i'm not a bread person but i am going to um i make the I'm not gonna make i'm going to warm up <laughs> i'm going to warm up a um, pancake and i'm gonna put the sausage that's if we have it you know i think we had a sausage so bacon put some bacon in the air fryer i'm gonna put my hash brown in the air fryer and i don't think i'm gonna make any eggs but it's gonna be something really quick simple i'm gonna let y'all see i'll be back okay guys i made it in the house i went ahead and put my bacon on i'm still cooking and I have my pancakes sitting there waiting for me to warm it up. And then after my bacon finish, I'm going to make my little hash brown. We got one left. But in the meantime, while that stuff cooks, I want to show you the few items I got from Walmart. Of course, I got a box of assorted chips. I want to try this chicken bacon ranch by Hot Pockets and then uh, pepperoni and cheese Hot Pockets. I got the great value I think just because it was cheaper usually I get the Hot Pockets but to me they all taste the same I rarely eat them anyways um, then I got some sandwich meat so I make some uh, wraps to take the work 
Here is some blueberry muffins. My kids love them. Um, and as big as they are, what I normally do is cut them in half and then I give each one of the kids one along with whatever else they eat for breakfast. Um, then I got the Milo's Extra Sweet Tea. I love that. And then I have the Lemonade Brisk Juice. This is really good by itself. That's good by itself. But guess what? When you put these two together, it's even better. Then I have the Minute Maid Fruit Punch. Best thing ever made. And then we have the Minute Maid Mango Juice. That's good. My husband said that we was out of seasoning salt. So I got that. I got uh, some cheese. So we could put on our sandwiches or to make grilled cheese. I have some bananas. My baby girl loves bananas. The sour cream is for tonight with the taco, the taco seasoning. I got some paste piccani sauce and some shredded cheese and lettuce to go on uh, our tacos or burritos tonight. And then I have, I got this for my baby girl. She loves um, yogurt. So I got her the tricks. This is the strawberry and berry flavor. So yeah, guys, that is the end of the little grocery haul. I'll pick y'all back up once the food is done so you can see my McDonald's homemade breakfast platter. All right, guys, my breakfast is done. There's my pancakes. I'm going to add some syrup. I like a lot because I need to taste my syrup. I don't like dry food. So whenever I eat rice, I have to make sure I have a lot of gravy. So anyway, so this is my homemade McDonald's uh, big breakfast platter. There's my bacon. The only thing I didn't make was the, the um, eggs. And I just didn't feel like it. I just wanted something quick. And here we are. That is it. And then I'm about to make my Chick-fil-A Sunjoy. And so, uh, here's my cup. Here's my tea. So a Sunjoy um, is nothing but sweet tea and lemonade mix. Or some people call it a half and half. Hold on, guys. I had to take the top off. And now we got a sun joint. I do not have any ice. Our freezer does not have an ice maker. And we haven't bought any ice. We actually we just ran out of ice last night. So. so this is my breakfast. It looks good. All right. So I'm about to sit back, watch a little uh, YouTube, and enjoy my breakfast. So, I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. I just finished eating my breakfast. I am about to go upstairs and do it. Take off these clothes, take a shower. And take a nap. But before I take my nap, I'm going to scratch off my, my scratch offs. But I want to show y'all um, a few items I purchased for my daughter last night at Burlington. Let me get them out. Okay, guys. So after I got off work last night, um, we stopped by Burlington. And these are a few items I got my my daughter. So this is a nightgown. This cinnamon toast crunch purple looking dress. It's a nightgown. Really, really cute. I thought that was cute. So it was four ninety nine. Can't beat that for a nightgown. And then here's a unicorn. I thought was really pretty. And it was five ninety nine. So I got her two nightgowns. And then I got her this DKNY. It's a dress and jacket. All for $8.99. I was shocked, surprised. I kept reading the tag, trying to make sure, like, does this really go together? And then I took it loose. I'm like, okay, they're not even attached. 
So I looked at the jean jacket to make sure it wasn't a tag on them. Y'all, it was a two-piece for $8.99. Now, y'all already know that jean jackets cost a lot by themselves. When I say cost a lot, like, they're a decent price. They never $8.99. I have never seen a jean jacket $8.99. It's always $20 plus or $25 plus. I don't know. But I thought that was really cute, so I got her that. Then I got her this DKNY shirt. This pink right here. She likes this little stuff that you can play with. But it was only $4.99. I thought that was cute. So as y'all can see, I got a whole bunch of DKNY because it looked like that's all they were selling in there. And then I got her this DKNY outfit. It was it's a three-piece for $2.99. And I thought that was so cute. These are the shorts. And then it also comes with um, a shirt that has no sleeves. And those are the shorts. So that's really cute. Hold on, guys, because that's not it. So then I stumbled across this polo shirt. I originally saw a white one. And this one is a very light pink. It was $10.00. $9.99. So I got her that. And then I found this cute little unicorn shirt. It was $3.99. Y'all better stop slipping on Burlington. Go up in there and buy y'all kids some stuff. They got some really cute outfits and two-piece sets and jeans and stuff. Look at these jeans. I don't know if it's a unicorn or a cat. I'm just, I thought it was a unicorn all this time. That is a cat look like. These are eyes, the nose whiskers ears but yeah and then it has the little stretchy stretchy elastic in here yeah it's so cute and see it's on both it's on both knees and then these were i want to say 11.99 if i'm not mistaken and they were 11.99 so yeah Burlington came through, and so I spent I spent a total of $67, so I thought that was good for everything that I got, um, and yeah, I want to show y'all this, because I, I never uploaded the, our Christmas, um, morning, where the kids opened up their gifts, so I do want to show y'all, let me move this, these clothes out the way. I want to show y'all my baby girl's um, comforter set. It came with the, the, that's the comforter. It came with the sheet. This is the mm -hmm. LOL dolls. I thought that was too cute for my four-year-old. It came with the fitted sheet, a flat sheet, pillowcase, and the comforter. And I believe it was like $29. Guess where I got it from? Guess where I got it from? DDs. Y'all stop slipping on DDs. If you got a DDs in your um city, go by there. Check them out. I think you'll like them. Also, I had got my son a comforter set. So he loves to play games. Nintendo games, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, whatever, Fortnite. That's him. He's a gamer. So they had a let me pull this out, his bed out. They had they had a comforter for him. I had to get it, guys. Look at this. Look at this. So this is the pillow. This is the comforter. So it came with the same thing. A flat sheet, fitted sheet. And the comforter. And a pillowcase. And I believe his probably was $32.99 at DD's. Now, now I don't know if I could have found that anywhere cheaper, but I looked inside Walmart. They didn't have this stuff. They stuff was, it was probably around the same price or maybe just a little bit higher. But I know for a fact that I was looking for like a gaming um, comforter for him because I know that's what he into. With my daughter's um, LOL dog, I just thought that was really, really cute. 
So that's why I got it. But if y'all know somewhere where I could have got that stuff cheaper, because I looked on Amazon, I went inside Walmart. I went on Walmart.com. Mm -mm. So this was the cheapest I found. But if y'all know something that uh, somewhere that I could have went cheaper and found the same thing, make sure y'all drop that down below, because I'm always looking for a bargain. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you go check out some of my other videos. But until next time, peace.